It is, I, does anyone really know what day it is anymore? Wednesday, June 17th, and I'm heading to the hospital. Gray's driving me. Today I'm getting Zometa and my Zoldex shot. My Zoldex shot I get once a month, every 28 days actually, and it helps keep me in medical menopause. All the medication that I'm on that puts me into medical menopause that's helping with cancer and all of that, it makes it so my bones are not as good at absorbing calcium. Is that right? No one knows. Uh, my bones are just not really good. So the Zometa helps them out by taking calcium that's in my body and making it easier for my bones to absorb them, like puts, the, puts it into my bones so my bones can stay healthy. I get Zometa infusions every six months. Uh, I get an IV in my arm and they give me the medicine through that. Last time I got it, which was the only other time I've gotten it, I got a fever for five days after and it was rough. It was basically flu-like symptoms. It was like 101 fever and I had really achy bones and it was kind of that flu feel like you just don't want to get out of bed. And it's a flu feel. Flu feel. Is it like an eel with a lot of hair? A flu feel? A flu eel. Flu Somebody get me a flu feel. Get me a flu, flu, flu feel. <laughs> get me a flu feel so I can cuddle it while I have flu like symptoms. Look, it's on 1911. He's back. He's all over the place. Oh my god. I always see him. We always see uh, this one license plate and it's okay. not that unique of a license plate, but we think it's funny. If you own um 1911, <laughs> give us a hey, shout. UMM 1911. Um, there might be a dash in the middle. There is a dash. And someone asked what your favorite year of the first 20 years of the 20th century was. Um, 1911. <laughs> we like to make fun of license plates, but usually ones that aren't custom license plates. But yeah. Just are end up accidentally being funny. Yeah, like the so guy in front of us so is ramble. US 61971. I am not. <laughs> See, that's how it works. Yeah. It's so dumb, we're probably not even gonna put this in the video. Most likely, but maybe we will. I will. Okay, what was I saying? Uh, yeah. Zometa's Zometa. dead. Zometa's dead. Uh, they were like, last time they gave me it, they were like, oh, you may experience a low-grade fever, but it'll probably go away within 24 hours. And I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, and then you had flu feel. Yeah. <laughs> when I called after the day, they were like, it might be 48 hours. But then it ended up being a really long time. And so then I went back into the doctor, my oncologist, and he was like, I'm just going to give you some dexamethasone. And I got, I took one pill of dexamethasone and then the next day the fever was gone. So this time they're gonna try to prevent the fever from happening by giving me the dexamethasone today. And also a lot of times people have that reaction the first time they get Zometa, but then they don't have the reaction the second time they get the Zometa. So I'm just gonna be documenting this to see if I get sick again, and if I don't, I'll be really happy, but if I do, you guys can see what it's like, sort of, because for some reason, people like videos of me suffering. Yeah, it's the best. <laughs> Heading to the hospital now, but not before I stop at Tropical Smoothie, so. Is this video sponsored? See you later. It, I mean, I don't know why I'm not sponsored by Tropical Smoothie. I think you could be. You don't have a big enough following. You're not really an influencer. I, I'm, I'm not. We had a couple of weeks we didn't post any videos. I, that made I, your fans and me angry. Tropical Smoothie, what are you even doing? Why are you not sponsoring me? I'm, I'm really a big deal. Like, can't you see my 4,000 YouTube subscribers? Thanks, by the way, but. You're 4,000? Yeah, that's four whole thousand. I only have three. You have three? Maybe. Why do you have three? I don't really know. <laughs> I haven't posted any videos. You right? don't have any videos. Yeah, it's probably still zero. But it might be three. I'll subscribe to you. Thanks. The hospital still has restrictions. Grace still can't come with me yeah. to my infusion. 
He's just driving me there and dropping me off and he's gonna do some work in the parking lot. If you guys don't know, because a lot of like cancer patients and people who have to go to the hospital and like doctor's office, they know this and this isn't really that big of a deal, but I just want to share it because it's kind of different than normal or is different than normal. Before you go into the hospital, people are outside. They stop you. They ask you if you've had like a million different symptoms. They and or if you've been by anybody that's had the virus in however many days. And then they make you wear a mask. If you don't have a mask, they give you one. What do you do if you say yes to those questions? I don't know because I never it's like, have. yeah, I've got coronavirus, but my leg's broken. I still need it fixed. <laughs> I think they just have to take really extra precautions or something. But they don't let you into the hospital before they take your temperature. Mango magic. I'm done. It took 20 million years. It didn't really take 20 million years. I'm not gonna have any fever this time. Because my oncologist was like, you know what? I don't want you to suffer like you did last time because I suffered. And so he was like, I'm either gonna give you two or three. I don't know what the unit of measurement is. But there's a unit of measurement on the Zometa and the normal dose is four. And so then he decided he was either gonna give me two or three and he decided, you know what, I'm just gonna give you two. And then I'm gonna give you double the dexamethasone that we gave you last time. And then you probably won't have any problem. You might have a little bit of insomnia because I gave you a pile of dexamethasone. But it's better than feeling like you have the flu. Flu feel. Flu. Flu feel. Flu feel. How do you keep forgetting that? Um, isn't that good? Don't you need the Zometa for your bones, though? Yeah, that's what I asked him. And he was like, good question. It's a good question, Gray. Zometa is a really strong bone-protecting drug, so he doesn't feel bad about giving me half the dose. And he said that he's done it before for people, and it's been fine, and he's just gonna keep moving up the dose as like the next time I'll, I'll get three and uh, he'll just keep moving up the dose so that I don't have the same issue as before. The other thing that happened is that I was seated right next to this really old lady uh, that was on the other side of this wall. So like there was a kind of a wall in between us so I couldn't see her and she couldn't see me. But she was getting her adriamycin and cytoxin. No, adriamycin and Cytoxin. Cyclophosphamide. Yeah, but it isn't. The... It's also cytoxin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I get really confused because there's just so many. Why can't so the much brand medication. name be like catchier? Well, the the adriamycin brand name is like doxorubicin or something. And it's like that's not even easier to say. But like, yeah, why isn't the brand name like cancer no more or something? I, like, I think there's a lot of cancer. But can't it just be called like C Cancer Killer Pro X1 or something? Why, if, if someone explained to me why drug brand names aren't any easier to understand than the drug chemical names. The nurse is like going through all of the information and it was clearly her first time and how like she has to wear this massive gown protectant thing because if a drop of the adriamycin gets on your skin, it's like super bad. And so basically that was all happening and then she was getting the cyclophosphamide after and she was explaining like how your nose can start burning when you get that and oh my gosh, it was just, it was such a throwback. And then 
she gave her her new Lasta patch and started explaining it. And she was like, the new Lasta patch uh, is gonna stick you, it's gonna beep and then stick you. And some people say that it's like getting hit with a rubber band. And some people say that the sound it makes is more startling than the actual needle. Which is true, the sound that the new Lasta patch makes when it like sticks the catheter thing in you, it's like... Like a mouse trap. It's, uh, yeah, it sounds like a mouse trap. So she was just going through the whole thing and then the lady, I guess, had some other chemo before she did this. And she was talking about how the other chemo made her feel nauseous and everything. And then the nurse was like, oh yeah, this is gonna make you feel nauseous. And I'm like, lady, you don't know nausea until you have AC chemo. And I was just like, man. I was doing that last year. That sucks. Especially because she didn't have anyone with her because they don't let anyone go in with you. So she was just sitting there through these really long infusions. One other thing, this is a pro tip. My oncologist was like going through all of my side effects and everything because this was my checkup appointment with him and everything. And he's like, oh, how often do you have hot flashes? And I was like, oh, I have probably pretty close to one an hour. You say that's accurate, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he was like, oh, okay, well, have you ever had Zyrtec? And I was like, I don't know, maybe, I couldn't remember. And he was like, well, this one lady had hot flashes a ton. And then she started taking Zyrtec because her allergies like started happening and it was spring. Once she started taking the Zyrtec, her hot flashes were gone. Like three days later or something. Mm -hmm. And he said that there's like no studies on this. There's nothing in his literature that says anything about this. But this lady, it happened to this lady, and he looked online, and there was a bunch of other people who said the same thing. I love how your doctor, pres pres he doesn't prescribe, but like when he runs out of things to actually prescribe, he just starts giving you random, like, <laughs> I heard one time. Yeah, he does though, and he was just like, he was like, I, yeah, that, that's the thing with the dexamethasone that's happening right now. He literally was like, one time, I gave a patient dexamethasone, uh, before the Zometa and then they didn't have the fever like he that's the whole reason that I have the dexamethasone So tell your oncologist about this if you have problems with the Zometa But yeah, so he was like you should try some Zyrtec and just start taking it and see if it does anything It's worth a try like it might not do anything, but it could so I'm excited to try that He said I mean even if it doesn't completely make the hot flashes go away if you cut down your hot flashes by half like that would That'd still be, be really big yep. yeah so we should go get some Zyrtec I think I've got some oh sweet that, that is all the updates from my appointment <laughs> bye hello this is what happens when I start talking See, I'm not one of those people that talks to themselves, so like the second I start speaking, she she thinks that I'm talking to her. Because my apartment is basically silent until I pull out the video camera to start talking to YouTube. Okay, um, just wanted to say that everything is going really well. I'm sorry. I... You good? Um, everything's going really well, so much better than last time. I have not had a fever at all. The day of the infusion, I felt really achy at night, like right before I went to sleep, and I was very tired. So there was absolutely no insomnia, which he was saying uh, I might experience because of all the dexamethasone, but there was no insomnia. So I take that to mean that I think the dexamethasone was like working its hardest against the Zometa. Um, because yeah, I've definitely taken dexamethasone before and it has given me a ton of energy and stuff, but this time it didn't, it 
I'm just, I was just tired. Today is Friday. Yesterday I was just tired and a little bit achy and I was just kind of sleeping a lot of the day. I just took it easy from work. I was kind of expecting to have to take that day off anyway just because of the reaction that I had last time. And then today, um, kind of the same thing. I had a lot of stomach problems today and it's kind of hard to tell if that has to do with the Zometa or if it's because I just started my uh, ribocyclib on Thursday night, so it's probably that. Uh, so yeah, again today I was just kind of in bed and sleepy and stuff, but I am actually feeling a lot better tonight. Uh, yeah, overall I'm just very happy. My oncologist called me yesterday night to ask if I had a fever, so he was just checking up on me, which was really nice. And yeah, I'm just really happy that I don't have 101 fever. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry, I mean, this is a little bit uneventful, but I'm very happy to report that um, if you have your dose of Zometa and double the steroids, then you probably won't have as big of a reaction and yeah I'm happy I'm satisfied and so the next time I get Zometa we'll probably increase the dose a little bit more to see if we can get back up to whatever the full dose is and yeah that's all thank you guys so much for watching this if you like this video give it a thumbs up I know it wasn't really that exciting but uh, if you're new to my channel check out my other videos if you want to follow along with all of my fun cancer adventures. And yeah, that's all. Bye.